D. Which one would you say looks the C to D. That's right, most people would. But in fact, we've got a little model of the top hat here. So if we place it on, you see it's the same hat. Now, if we give it a twist like this, you'll see, in fact, that it isn't the longest. In fact, AB is longer than CD. Yeah. Yeah. It's so easy for our eyes to be deceived. Big head, that's what it is. It is a bit of a big head, and if you think you're a big head, have a look at the words in this triangle. Your reading might not be as good as you thought it was. Did you get that, or did it fool you? You know, it actually said once upon a a time. Really strange, those optical illusions. Well, for our dance item today, we've got a workshop session with one of America's leading choreographers called Tony Basil. Now, she visited this country in June, and we arranged for her to coach some young dancers from Manchester here in the studio. Together, they were working out their own steps for a track from Tony's new video album, Word of Mouth. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, as he comes through from here, five, six, seven, eight, I want you to turn and run off, okay? I know what you should do. Instead of you keep going, you do like a turn on your eight. Five, six, seven, eight, turn and you go off so that you're both turning at the same time. Try that, try that. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, three, three. That was really good. That was really good. That was really good. Just let me see everybody do the foot two. Let's try that. Seven and eight. And one. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. And freeze. One of the great things about modern dancing is that you can do your own thing and make up the steps as you go along. And Tony's a great believer in this. So when rehearsals finished, she told me how in America rock and roll music has produced dancers with their own individual style of dance. Many of them have strange sounding names and Tony showed me examples of just a few of them, starting with locking. When you lock, you kind of lock your elbows, lock your elbows, roll your wrist and slap your hand. And when you're popping, which is more 80s, kind of roll your body and, and, and you stop so that you roll. And it's almost, it's almost, it gets a little East Indian, but it did come from locking, interestingly enough. And the, the punking, which is more the roll of the wrist and freezes, came out of a group of people who didn't like 